Hello guys, my name is Balkrishna Shivastav and welcome to Code with TK. So in this video, I'm going to discuss all the important Java codes for questions on integers for ISC 2024 Computer Science Practical Boards paper. So before we begin, it is a request to please, 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 please subscribe to my channel because out of 100 viewers, only one or two are subscribed and a subscription is very important. So please, 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 please do subscribe to my channel. So I have compiled one single file for all the important codes that you will probably need to solve the question one of ISC 2024 computer science practical paper right and if I look at all the question papers from 2010 to 2020 and 2023 if you know these codes you can solve all those questions all right so I've written a separate function for each code that you're supposed to know right and I'm calling all these functions in my main method here okay so i am going to go through this code function by function but if you just want the code the link for the code is in the description of this video you can download the code from there okay so this method is to check if an integer is a prime number or not an integer is a prime number if it is divisible by one or n itself okay then you have a function to check if an integer is a composite number so we know that an integer can be either prime or composite okay one is neither prime nor composite okay so you can use this okay if an integer is not a prime number it means it's a composite number okay or you can use this okay all right moving on to find the factorial of a given integer n so n factorial is basically n factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 till n minus 1 into n okay so to find n factorial you multiply all integers from 1 to n and the final product is called n factorial okay and that's what we are doing here okay so I have uploaded a separate video explaining in detail what is the factorial, how do you calculate it. You can find the link of that video in the description. Similarly, I have also posted a separate video for this is prime method to check if an integer is a prime number or not. Okay. Next function is to check if an integer is an Armstrong number or not. Again, a separate video for this I have already uploaded. The link I'll add in the description. Krishnamurthy number, again, I have added a separate video for this. Is fascinating number. Okay, again, a separate video of this is already uploaded. You can check it out. Then I have to check if a palindrome number, okay, a palindrome number is a number if it is the same as its reverse, okay, that is a palindrome number. So the important codes for question one for IC practical can be divided into two parts. One is integers and other is dates, okay. So you would want to solve as many as question possible on the types of number, for example, palindrome number, fascinating number and like that composite magic numbers that came in 2014 and 2023 practicals like that. Then we have dates. The other part of integers here is dates that you can find date after n days. Okay, you can find the date from the given day number of the year. So one of the few functions that you should always know when you're working with dates is to check if a year is a leap year or not to get the number of days in a year that is 366 days in a leap year and 365 days in a non leap year. Okay, and we are using this function. Okay, in this method. Okay, then you should be able to write a function to find a number of days in a month. Okay, the number of days in a month from January to December are same except Feb. Okay, Feb has 29 days if it is a leap year. That is why in this function I take the year as well because if the month is 2, number of days in February is 29. Okay, then you should be able to write a function to get month name. Okay, and then there is this function to print a date in this format. Okay, then there is this function to find day number. Now day number is basically which day of the year is that date. For example, 1st Jan of any year is day number 1. 30th Jan of any year is day number 30 and so on. Day number 365 is the last day for a non-leap year and 365 day number is the second last day for a leap year. Okay. Then you should be able to find date from the given day number. For example, if the day number is 100, what is the date? Okay. Then you should be able to find the date after n days. It came in one of the previous papers okay and then some very basic checks like for example check if an integer is even or odd okay you you do n percent to equal to zero if it is equal to zero it is even if it is not equal to zero it is odd then you should be able to count the number of digits in an integer the easiest way is to convert the integer to a corresponding string find the length of the string okay then you should be able to find the sum of digits in an integer there are two ways to do this you can use a while loop or you can use strings okay try to remember the shorter and the easier method okay then you should be able to break integer into digits. So when you use a while loop, you get digits in reverse order. Okay. For example, from one to for n equal to one, two, three. Okay. 
we will get 3 to 1 if we use a uh, while loops okay when we use string we get in the original order so let me run this okay so digits of 1 to 3 the first output is in reverse order which is from uh, this okay then from this we get in the original order 1 2 3 okay then all the checks calling all the functions one by one if it is a prime number no 1 2 3 factorial il is going to be a very large value which cannot be accommodated in an integer that's why it gives you a zero okay when we find factorial with a smaller value you will get a valid value okay Armstrong number no, Krishnamurti number no, Kassadinator no, palindrome number no, okay. So let me change n to say maybe say some 3, okay. So 3 factorial 6 basically 1 into 2 into 3, okay. So this is fine. Uh, it is a composite number, no. Prime number, yes. Armstrong number, yes. Krishnamurti number, no. Kassadinator number, no. Palindrome number, yes, okay. Let me take 153, okay. Armstrong number yes, Krishna Murthy number no, again very large value cannot accommodate it, composite number yes, okay. Let me take a prime number 23, okay, 3, 2, 2, 3, sum of digits is 5, 23 has 2 digits, 23 factorial comes out to be this, Armstrong number no, 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 okay. So 145, okay, Krishna Murthy number yes, okay, composite number yes, prime number no, sum of digits. Three digits. Okay, let me make it to say eleven. Okay, I didn't know number. Yes. Okay, coming to the part for dates. Okay, so I have year as twenty twenty, month as two, and date as eighteenth. Okay, so eighteenth Feb twenty twenty. So first thing is is twenty twenty a leap year? True. Okay, print the date. It prints as this. Okay, when you call this function with these values. Then we have number of days in 2020 are 366. Then 18th February is the day number. Finding the corresponding day number. Then finding n equal to 100, 200, 300, 400 days after 18th Feb, which is this, 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 and this. Okay, let's change this to say 2023. Okay. So number of days are 365 now. It was 366 when it was 2020. Okay. So testing all these functions now. Okay. So if you remember all or most of these codes you should be able to solve question one okay along with system.out.printf for good formatting output okay it has not been seen the formatted output has not been seen in the last three, three four years but before that from 2014 2013 2012 they used to but that that's a long time ago so i'm not going to count on it and system.out.printf is not a lot of work so you can learn about it there is a separate video about system.out.printf Okay, I will add the link of the video in the description. You can check it out. Okay, so these are the important Java codes for IC 2024 Computer Science Practical Boards paper. I will add important Java codes for question 2, which is for 2D arrays and question 3 for strings as well in the next week. Okay, so let me know if you have any doubts or if there is any question you want me to solve or if there is a concept you want me to discuss. Okay, the link for this code is in the description. You can download the code from there. Thank you.